Man, oh man, I don't even know where to start with this one, guys. I'm not the type of person who is for cancellation. I usually don't say, yo, cancel this person, cancel that person. But in this situation, it just it just gets worse every single time. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, last week I spoke about this whole influencer by the name of Daisy Marquez, and she came online, admitted she faked sickle cell because she thought she was going to get hate because she had just gotten a BBL. Keep in mind, these were the tweets she was putting out. My sickle cell anemia is the worst it's ever been, and I'm in so much pain. This was back in November of 2018. And like I mentioned, she came out last week and said, yo, this was all fake. Um, I lied to everyone, blah, blah, blah. Everyone and their mama talked about it. Everyone was furious at Daisy saying, yo, how could you lie about something so serious and just like brush it off your shoulders saying, yo, it is what it is. I was younger and I didn't know better. Keep in mind, guys, Daisy was an adult when she said this. She was, I believe, 20, 21 years old at the time. Listen, at that age, you know what you're doing. But anyways, here's an update. Daisy Marquez decided to go to the Overcomfort podcast hosted by Jenica Lopez. And well, let me just say, I feel like she made things worse for herself. So I want to bring you guys this reaction just because it is so crazy and baffling that she came on said her truth and people are still supporting her which we'll get into the comments right now. But I do want you guys to listen to this one of the episodes and you know, I again, I want to respect you and honor you for your vulnerability and being so open because what you said was very, um, again, respectable. Like it's like it takes a lot of, uh, I guess, balls. I don't want to yeah. say ovaries <laughs> because it takes a lot of guts and it takes a lot of balls to say what you had to say with every, what you were going through, you know, and it's like. As a person, a lot of people do not have that same mentality to be able to be like, okay, this is my truth. Yeah. This is what it is. And I, and even it's like, were you scared for people not to like you though? I feel like when in the thought about it. Yeah. I think in the beginning of, of the career, when everything was like taking off, I was so scared of like fucking up my reputation. Yeah. And I think now it's just like, if you are so focus on your reputation you're literally gonna lose yourself like I I think I was mostly scared of what people were going to think about me because I was such a people pleaser and I didn't want to disappoint mm -hmm. anyone and in the end I ended up disappointing myself and you know the people around me and the people that had watched that video and so I think correct me if I'm wrong but I don't know if she's referring to the video she came out at <laughs> lying I was gonna say admitting but no lying she had sickle cell saying she was sick or yeah, let me know in the comments if she's referring to that video, because once again, that video is gone from her channel. Once, you know, that happened and I'm so glad that I didn't address it at Back the time mm -hmm. because I was so mature. I was so insecure. I was so naive. I probably would have just like, bro, you lied about having sickle cell. How are you like glad you did not come out with it back then? Like. It would have probably been better for you to come out within back in the day than now. You know, you waited six years to tell your truth. Truth. We acted out of emotion and been like, oh my God, you guys, please. Like, I wouldn't have handled it the way I should have. Mm -hmm. And so I'm very glad that, you know, I addressed it now um, at this version that I am of myself. And I think now, like, I know I'm not a bad person. I know that I can go to sleep at night in peace because mm. I know that I do have a good heart and I just... <laughs> what? And let me just say this. I want to say this now. Get it out the way for the people that are going to come on here or just went on Jenica's comments defending da Daisy Marquez. Listen, how would you feel if your favorite influencer, a family member, or your cousin, whatever, came out and said, yo, I haven't been on social media is because I'm dealing with cancer. And then six years later admit to say yeah i faked the whole cancer thing i just didn't want to get hate i literally just got a bbl and i needed some time off of social media how the hell would you feel if someone came out like that? the reason i'm putting that out there cancer is because cancer as we all know sucks it's a big deal here and a lot of people hear cancer more than they hear sickle cell right am i right thank you and for the people that don't know what the hell sickle cell is yeah, it's just probably another little disease. No, 
This thing is huge. You guys, that's the thing that gets me pissed off with the people defending Daisy. Like, they don't know how serious, how big having sickle cell is, which we'll get into in a little bit. But I just want to put it out there because a lot of people, believe it or not, are defending Daisy saying, yo, she made a mistake. She was young. Oh, my God. <laughs> How can y'all be so naive? But anyways, let's keep watching this uh, this clip. I happened to make a really bad mistake and I'm genuinely so sorry. And I know that some people are going to be able to see that. Some people are going to forgive me. Some people aren't. But mm -hmm. I had to learn that yeah. I can't satisfy yeah. everyone. You know, I have one life and <laughs> regardless if you're doing good, somebody out there is going to think you're doing bad. Of course. You, no can't, you can't live your life trying to please others because you are going to end up overthinking everything and killing yourself in the end and it had gotten to a point where I literally wanted to yeah. you know end my life because I just couldn't take the hate that I would get on social media um it's like a lot of weight it's sorry sorry I had to pause this listen I hope she's not saying this that she wanted to you know off herself you know because she was getting a lot of hate just to say it when it really didn't happen. I really hope you did not just say that to, uh, to just say it, please. I really hope not. It's a lot of weight. It's just like, I feel like you would understand that like, at the end of the day, we are all human beings, yeah. you know? Um, and I just think when it's a lot of hate in immense amounts, it, it just is very suffocating. And you think that at the time I remember, cause now like you can throw sticks and, t and stones and you will not break me. Like mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. am so secure in myself now and I don't even care about what anyone has to say about me cause I'm so right. um, good within myself. But I think back then, like I believed everything yeah. that everyone would say about me. And so I was so scared to come out and be truthful. So I just, you know, I just waited and waited and waited. And That's I remember I, even at some points I wanted to come out and my team at the time was like, no, you're going to ruin your reputation. This friend's not going to want to work with you. What? And then it got to a point where I have a different team now. Yeah. Um, Because I remember they asked me like, what are your goals of this year? And I was like, look, I want to tell my truth. Mm -hmm. I want to finally close that chapter of my life. And they were like, no. And I was like, you guys are not listening to me. And they're like, but uh, why would they say no? If you were part of Daisy's team back in the day and told her, no, don't come out with your truth. You're a piece of crap. Just letting you know you're a piece of crap. Okay. But if she's lying about that, she, I guess she's lying. I don't know. I, you know, how could we tell? But yeah, if you told her, no, don't ruin your reputation. Don't say you faked sickle. No, bro. You're a piece of crap. Straight up, straight up. They kept telling me no, because they were because of my reputation they were like you're gonna ruin your reputation they're like people are gonna bring it up regardless like you shouldn't address it but i'm like you guys are not in my shoes like everywhere i go any person that i collab with like it's always being brought up like just let me speak my truth like people are gonna respect me more if i just sit here and tell them exactly what happened yeah. like i fucked up i lied in, on the internet like i made a mistake like i'm so sorry like just let me hold myself accountable and I think they were just looking at it more on like a business of side. Of course, of course. And I had like brand deals and contracts. And so once wow. they told me no, I just remember I, I felt very disconnected from my team. And I was like, you know what? I think it's time. I think it's time. And I'm like, I don't even care if I have a team. I'm going to come. Listen, I'm sorry, but Daisy should have said F my team. I'm going to clear my conchas, my conscious and uh, say, you know what? It is what it is. This is what happened. I lied to you guys, blah, blah, blah. But no. She listened to the team she had, allegedly, according to her. And uh, yeah, we didn't hear about it until six years later. Uh, she messed up. She should have She should have came out and said, F, F my team. I'm out and I'm going to say it. What? No matter what? No matter what, because like, I'm too grown like to not hold myself accountable. And I just think it's time, you and know? You control your own narrative. Yeah. And so I, um, before I signed with my manager i was like hey like <laughs> i like how she said she was too grown oh you were too grown for that but not too grown to admit you were old enough to make up this stupid lie right because a lot of people in the comments i'm telling you y'all y'all were like yo she was she was younger she didn't know any better no she's telling you here she was grown <laughs> she's literally telling you here she was grown so she knows better
I have this baggage with me. I was like, I really need to let this go and I need to address this on the internet. Yes. And I was so scared for her to be like, oh, I don't want a client like that or yeah. whatever. And she completely respected it. She was like, I 100% think you should do that. Like I'm here. And I was like, this is what I needed. I needed that support from a manager on the business side. And so I think now, you know, I am very blessed to be financially free mm -hmm. to where if I didn't want to do social media, I don't have to, but I do it for fun now. And, you know, I have my foundation and stuff like that. So I think, you know, also my old team was thinking about it. Like, well, if you address this and you get canceled, you're not going to make any more money and you're going to be broke. And like, they were thinking about it to like a whole yeah. nother level. But I was like, I wonder if it was actual her, like her actual team saying this or Daisy saying this, telling herself, yo, if I come out with this, I'm going to get canceled and yeah, the money's not going to be coming in. I wonder if that's the case. Look, I, I am very firm and secure within my message and what I'm going to say and how it's going to come out because like everybody lies. Yeah. It just so happened that I lied on the internet and like, what? again, like. Bro, you lied about having sickle cell. I don't give a damn if you lied about, you know, saying you, like you didn't have gum. Like, yeah, that, okay, whatever. You lied about not having gum when you actually had gum. I don't give a damn if you lied about that and told the internet that, right? You legit lied about having sickle cell. What the fuck? Bro, this, oh my God. I'm sorry. God, listen, there's still going to be people out there defending her ass, but oh, well, you can't, you can't fix stupid at this point. Super regretful. I'm regretful to a certain extent because it also, I learned my lesson learned, from it. Uh -huh. I learned my lesson from it. I am so blunt now. I'm so honest. Love that. And I just literally have learned not to lie about yeah. absolutely anything. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just easier. She's lying right there. <laughs> She's literally lying right there. In your career. Yeah. And it was like, those type of things were very shameful. They were cause, because BBLs no were one, not no a one, thing at no all. No one could like, ever get them. And now everybody and their moms have it's them. It's like super, it's, it's, it was like taboo at that time. Here it comes where, you know, BBLs weren't a thing back in 2018. Bro, listen, Daisy, why would you care about what anybody thinks about your body? I know you're a public figure, but still, why would you care about what other people think about your own body? Ay, Dios mio, bro. I can't. I, I literally can't. Even taboo was just no, very, it like... It is. It was taboo. And I was 21 or 20. Mm -hmm. I don't even... You're an adult, right? Remember. Yeah, she was an adult. Um, so I think, you know, when I was freshly, you know, everything's like kind of coming out. And if it were to come out that I had gotten BBL, the internet would have dragged me and I wouldn't have been able to handle the hate. And, yeah. you know, that's exactly and why. Were that's exactly why you lied and told everyone you had sickles. <laughs> no mames, way. No manches. No mames. Emotionally, like, as strong as you were now. That's yeah, you see, like, now, like, I'm I'm not scared to talk. talk about surgery or anything like that. And I actually do want to say what that I got another BBL. No, you didn't. Yeah, I, did. I love that. <laughs> How was it? I, I announced it on my okay. OF. Literally, okay, I gotta subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I announced it on on my OF literally when I got it. Like okay. I was like, oh, I got a new body for my. And I was so positive that it was gonna come out. And I was like, okay. if it comes out, like it comes like, out. Whatever. You know, like I'm not ashamed of it. Mm -hmm. And so it wasn't until like recently that people started to pick up that they were like, something looks different. Like her butt looks more plump. And I'm like, You're like yeah, yeah. Like I got I another one, but I don't think it's that big of a deal to where I need to go and make an announcement no. on social media. Like, oh my god, I got like. Um, you don't think it's that big of a deal where you have to go announce it to Instagram? <laughs> you could have done the you could have done the same thing in 2018. Like literally, it's not a big deal. To the girls that have asked me DM like, "Oh my god, who's your doctor?" Mm -hmm. I replied back to them and I tell them like, yes. but then to the girls that are coming off so nasty and rude and it's like, "Girl, if you were nice, I would have told you the doctor." Like, yeah. You don't have to be nasty about it. Like I'm super open and honest like i've talked about like my breast augmentation yes. stuff like that like mm -hmm. i'm just an open book now Good. um oh. like you're free <laughs> i am in i feel all aspects i feel so free and i feel oh, so at peace and i've i've had to make peace with a lot of you know the mistakes that i've made okay so that's basically what uh the segment they had i believe with the whole you know coming out telling her truth 
Now listen, the reason that this pisses me off more is because there is parents out there, moms, dads, fighting with their babies that have sickle cell. Uh, this video came across my my For You page on TikTok, and I really feel for this mom. Shout out to you if you're watching this, but she goes by uh, Nenita XOXO. Okay, so this is what she had to say. You know, she she made a response video to Daisy Marquez. Okay, so let, let's take a let's take a look. Hey everyone, I just want to start off by saying that I am not on TikTok to slander anybody, especially no influence or any of that. But today when I was at work, I saw this video. Oh, I'm just gonna say that I had sickle cell. If somebody's telling me casually, like, oh, you have sickle cell, I'm it's gonna be like, oh, I probably have a cold. I probably have. And it really bothered me. And it's something so serious and so close to my heart. I feel like my responsibility as a mother is to advocate for my child, especially because he's five years old and he, number one, has no idea what's going on. Number two, doesn't have a clue what disease he has or what type of lifestyle he needs to have. Mm -hmm. All he knows is that this is his life. This is all he's ever known. If you're a parent, you will understand where I'm coming from. This video is mostly to inform everyone. I always knew that Daisy Marquez did not have sickle cell. She was lying and now I'm glad that the whole world knows that she's lying. I knew she was lying like two, Amen. three years ago. So I found her profile and I was like, oh, I'm gonna like support her. And I ran into a video where it was like, she has sickle cell and I was like, oh, like a Latina that has sickle cell? Interesting. I looked more deep into it. And instantly off the bat, she is a liar. She does not have sickle cell. And I'm glad that this is coming to light because I don't think you guys understand, especially the Latino community. Like, I don't think a lot of you guys understand how serious this is. I don't think a lot of you guys know what sickle cell is. Uh, they don't. You guys, what sickle <laughs> cell is. And I have it up here, okay? And I'll show you guys pictures. Sickle cell is an incurable disease blood disease okay. a group of red blood cells disorder we have normal red blood cells this is red no, normal red blood cells right this is my son's blood cells this is the blood cells that people with sickle cell have do you see the huge difference Big ass when our blood is flowing it's fine nothing happens but there's times when somebody that has sickle cell and their blood is flowing first time red blood cells get stuck together because of the way that they're shaped they're shaped like a circuit moon like a c okay it gets stuck it causes all of them to get stuck let's say for example it could get stuck on your arm if it gets stuck on your arm then it swells up now as a mother i had to do my research of what does somebody with sickle cell feel when they go through a crisis, they feel like somebody grabbed a hammer and they keep on just hitting the same spot Ooh. for hours. Or they feel like their body part that hurts is constantly being um, put into a meat grinder. They also oh, feel shit. like somebody's getting us a knife and stabbing them multiple times. This pain does not last for an hour or two or three hours. There's been times where I've seen my son go through a crisis for days, sometimes a week, more than a week. My son has to get admitted into the hospital at times. Here is a personal story um that i want to share with you guys and why this is like really pissing me off okay listen listen i'm gonna pause it real quick because i do want to say yo if you're out here in the comments defending daisy marquez put your headphones on and listen to this mother okay that this girl lied about this such a serious situation <sighs> my son was diagnosed with sickle cell two weeks after he was born there is this one time when my son was nine months old. We were in the hospital at midday. He had no energy, he had no spirit. Again, just a baby. I was carrying my son and all of a sudden, I noticed that he was getting very pale. If you've seen my son, he is very brown. He has a beautiful color. He's, he's brown and beautiful, okay? My son was turning very pale, more pale than me. It was just a body in my arms. I'm there by myself in the room. It's been more traumatizing 
to be by yourself in a hospital and see your baby dying in your arm. Immediately call the nurse and I'm telling her that he's very cold. His body is very, very cold. She comes to check him. She runs and throws so many blankets over me and she's like body heat i'm like it's hot but i'm here holding my child oh, she's turning up the heater as as high as she can in the room just to keep him warm nurses and doctors are running into the room and they come quickly with bags of like blood and they inject him with it my son needed a blood transfusion and if he would have not gotten that blood transfusion he would have died Again, nine months. I just want to say I'm not posting this to get clout. I don't care about that. Like I said, my job as a parent is to inform people and be an advocate for my child. Just imagine somebody you love and especially somebody you birthed yep. go through something that you cannot help them. No medicine can help them. Nothing could help them. Mm -hmm. All they have to do is just let time pass. It will pass eventually. Eventually, you're going to get back to who you are, just be strong. If you've experienced what I've experienced, you understand why I feel some type of way, why this girl lied. And then her friend, for her to say like, oh, you took it with a grain of salt. Somebody told you you had sickle cell. It was like you had a cold. <sighs> sickle cell is not curable. Let me just say this. Yes, Bramthy is stupid as, let me just say this. All her takes, dog. All her takes. But this is not about Brampty. This is about your story. To compare it to a cold is beyond me. Beyond yes, Thank me. you. Because if it was curable like a cold, I wouldn't be making this video. I wouldn't be as upset as I am right now. I wish my son could just take some cough medicine and all of this would go away. But this is his life. Mm -hmm. I'm always there. There's not one time that he's been admitted into the hospital and I have not been there. I don't care if I haven't showered. I don't care if I haven't ate. I'm not leaving until my son leaves with me. And I'm very disgusted that somebody will lie about such a serious disease because you're afraid of what the internet is gonna say about you. Girl, we all know that that's cap. Let's just be fucking for real. You just heard about sickle cell and you ran with it. You needed to gain a couple followers and you ran with it. You lied about something you didn't even know how serious it was. I take my son to doctor visits with cancer patients. When I take my son to go see his sickle cell doctor, I'm in the room with parents that have younger kids than my son and my son is five. And that baby is bald, it has cancer always admire how somebody could be so strong but then i realized i fall into that category i saw this video and it keeps me going when they tell you there's no fixing your child there's no fixing that and i had to go through this process mm. of nothing's wrong with him like you said he agreed to the assignment wow. he is who he is wow. the blessing in that is god trusts you with it to that. be trusted with that yeah. can you imagine what god thinks of you man that video plays in my head wow. rent free for situations like this because i know god trusted me with this type of child with this assignment my assignment is to advocate for my son tell my son's story my son will always be the strongest person that i know if god would have had a conversation with me a couple years ago and told me you know this is the type of child you're gonna have i would probably would have told him i don't want this assignment because i don't think i will be as strong I will be a good mom to somebody like him, I'm afraid. But I truly believe that God saw something in me and said, I know you're you're the right person to give this child to. And I trust you completely with him and you know what to do with him. He teaches me every day how to be strong. I feed off of his strength. A lot of people always tell me how I'm such a strong person and it's literally because of him. I complain about life sometimes. And then I have to come back into reality and be like, I'm fine. So the boy doesn't have a choice. I have no choice but to tell my son's story and to stand up for, for the rest of the sickle cell community. I feel like that's one of my purpose. I appreciate you guys for watching my video. I strongly believe in karma. Everything comes in full circle for people like her. Amen. And for all my friends and my family that 
know Legend's story and support Legend and are always there for him. I appreciate you guys so much. We appreciate you. Oh, that's, uh, you know, first things first, uh, you know, shout out to you. Uh, you're, I, I could see through the camera, through the video, you you are a strong woman, a strong mother, and prayers out to you and a little legend. And yeah, I'm, I mean, I know this might sound weird, but if you're watching this, I would love to uh, hear your story. I feel like this story could help others, uh, other parents that are going through the same exact thing. And yeah, I just wanted to play you guys that is because... You guys don't see, I'm not saying all of you, but some of you guys, you know, like I mentioned, defending Daisy in the comments, they don't see what people go, you know, people go through, the people that have sickle cell. And you might not understand this unless you go through something like this. And this is why it's so bad that Daisy lied about this certain situation. Yes, you could be, she could apologize a thousand times. I don't think people are going to forgive her for this. Before I do end this video, I let's let's look at these comments. The people that are naive and are defending Daisy. Someone said, so disappointing the hate that a literal human on this app receives. Imagine your mistakes, lies, or fuck-ups being on the internet for people to judge and pick at you. What she did was wrong, extremely wrong, but everyone deserves grace and and second chances she admitted she was wrong and admitted it publicly thank god y'all aren't god because y'all aren't perfect and we all have done something shitty once or twice in our life another person says what she did was not okay period you guys are so pathetic we're pathetic right because we're we're calling her out on this type of stuff yeah okay like i mentioned before no one is gonna know how serious this is unless you're going through it or someone close to you is going through this situation but for people to be defending an influencer that probably doesn't even know them over something this bad is crazy dog like hella crazy but guys i know i this video is pretty long I, and and if you made it this far i just want you to comment hashtag sickle cell awareness and uh yeah i just want to know your thoughts about this whole situation i still think that you know she should be out the internet she should be off the internet you know she deserves what's coming towards her like nanita said karma is real and like i say karma is a b-i-t-c-h and no matter how many years days months whatever karma is always gonna get to you okay so yeah let me know your opinions down below guys but other than that thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure to hit that like button subscribe if you're new and uh, yeah turn on those bells so that we guys get notified every time i upload a new video I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.